Hello, welcome to Math Monday, a day of the week that I devote to talking about books about math. I love math and I think there's a lot of good books about math out there and I want to share those books with you. Today I am going to be talking about this book, Bad Choices, How Algorithms Can Help You Think Smarter and Live Happier by Ali al Mosawi. I really hope I'm saying that last name right. If not, there it is. You can clearly see it. Um, so this book is, as in the title, about algorithms, and algorithms, when I think about algorithms, they do fall more in the computer science branch of knowledge than mathematics, however, I know they do play a role in mathematics, and I will also say I did not study any algorithms, at least not extensively, in my undergraduate degree in mathematics, which is the only thing that I have, the only formal training, I guess you could say, that I have. Um, and for that reason, I think that plays a role in the review that I'm going to do of this book today. This book, I was hoping, was going to give me a brief and very basic introduction to algorithms, like basic level for someone who doesn't understand anything at all, but has the capacity to grasp, grasp algorithms. And um, I thought that because it was kind of small and it was full of illustrations that were going to be... Um, that it was going to be very helpful in helping me understand algorithms. However, um, I wound up giving this book a three star. And the reason I gave it a three star is because at the end of this book, I'm still a little confused. I'm going to have to read this book a couple more times before I understand everything about algorithms. I think part of this problem is because I'm assuming this author falls more into computer science. Um, it says right here, um, yeah works on the data science team at Mozilla. So he, he is approaching this algorithm uh, situation from more of a computer science background, which I do not have. Uh, and I really struggled. I had to reread a couple paragraphs a couple of times. However, I think if you do have a computer science background, maybe this would be too simplistic for you. Um, I don't know where the sweet spot would be for someone to read this and completely understand it. Or maybe it's just the way I read it didn't completely understand it. However, I do think there are a lot of pluses to this book. And I think if you are interested in learning more about algorithms, you should definitely give the book a try to see if it fits your learning style or if the book just makes more sense to you. Um, a lot of things that I think this book did right were breaking topics down into simple stories. So every chapter started with a basic scenario. There was a woman who was trying to match socks from a pile. There was a man trying to remember when to go to the grocery store. There was another man trying to figure out the most efficient way to go through a grocery store. There was a woman trying to find her shirt size on a rack. Um, there were finding a way out of a maze. That was another one. How can someone find their way out of a maze? It was presented as a short, fun story um, with a little illustration. And then the the two ways that we're going to solve. So here's the illustration. And then they would list out the problem. And then they would show the two approaches to solving the problem on one page and then they would explain why one was better than the other and they would use really clear illustrations to help illustrate why one method was going to be better at solving the problem than another. Um, however, they really do did reference a lot of more specific terminology that I wasn't familiar with and I don't think they gave a very clear explanation for all the terms that they referenced or they didn't give a very clear definition. So sometimes I would read it and I'd be slightly confused. And I think if someone doesn't have a background in any computer science or mathematics, they too might be confused. I just think there were a lot of terms that were given that um, I didn't immediately understand what the definition was and that term would be referenced again and again and I would be slightly confused. However, I will say um, the internet's available. You can always Google all these terms and figure out what they mean. Um, and I liked, I liked the setup. I think that's the, the main redeeming value of this book is I liked the setup and I liked the clear way that he laid out, like, here's the situation, here's our two things that we're going to be comparing, here's the solution, and the chapters weren't too long and the book's not too long overall. So you don't feel like you're reading a textbook on algorithms. You're getting real life scenarios that you can kind of compare the algorithms with. However, me personally, I didn't fully understand everything that happened in this book. So I'm still looking for a book on algorithms that um, starts at the basic ground level, but not necessarily a textbook, just a basic book 
that talks about algorithms, maybe from a more math perspective than a computer science, although I understand algorithms are featured very heavily in computer science, so I might have to go that route anyways. Um, but yeah, if you are looking for a beginning book on algorithms, I would say read this book. Um, it didn't maybe do everything I, I wanted it to do for me, but it might for you. Um, I gave it three stars. I think it did a lot of things right. It just didn't do everything that I wanted it to do. And I actually really enjoyed the stories. So that that is another redeeming uh, value. The stories were, were really entertaining. So um, interesting book, three star read. If anyone has any suggestions on other books on algorithms, that is what I'm looking for. I do not know if my library has very many, but I can order always order those books from somewhere else in my area and just have a couple weeks come in. So I'm interested to hear your suggestions. I'm interested to see what you guys think about it. If you have any approaches for learning about algorithms more or in, in a better format than the way I'm going about it, because so far I've not had any luck. Please let me know. I'm always interested to learn, and thank you for joining me today.